Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Surfax Learning Channel. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell all para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong videos. Rocks. Today I would like to discuss to you the classification of rocks. Our main target here is to classify rocks into igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. Specifically, classify and describe the three basic rock types, explain how and what type of environment each of these rock types are formed, explain how rocks are transformed from one rock type to another and show awareness of the importance of rock to society. Rock forming processes in the rock cycle. What are rocks? Basically, rocks are solid materials that make up most of Earth, our moon, and other rock, rocky planets of our solar system. All rocks are solid aggregates of mineral grains or particles, either mineral crystals or glass or bro broken pieces of minerals. Of mineral crystals and rocks, example pebbles, gravel, sand, and sea. Few notable rocks that are not made of minerals or mineral grains, example obsidian, volcanic glass, coal, plant fragments. Where do rock forming materials came from? From Earth's mantle, a molten rock called magma, while underground and lava when it erupts to the surface, meteorites. Organism, from organism, so from Earth's mantle, such as molten rock called magma or underground lava. When a, vulca a volcano erupts, aside from it, rocks came from organisms such as parts of plants and animals or fragment fragmentation and chemical decay of mineral crystals and other rocks. Rocks also came from environmental changes and processes which affects these materials and existing rocks in ways that produce three main rock groups. The three rock groups, we have igneous rock, and the picture shown how igneous rock are formed. In this picture, igneous, this is an igneous rock, and let, try to see or observe how does it form. Igneous rock form when magma, when magma or lava cools down or crystallized to solid form, either glass or masses of slightly in integral mineral crystal. And the crystal are large if they had a long time to grow and slowly cooling magma. They are small if the form quickly in a rapidly cooling lava. However, sedimentary rock, take a look at in this picture how sedimentary rock forms. You have here the processes weathering, uh, igneous rock weathered sediments are formed. And those sediments, once it is deposited or compacted 
and the going lithification process, then sedimentary rock forms. Sedimentary rocks are mostly are formed when mostly minerals, crystals, and class broken pieces and fragments coming from plants, animals, mineral crystals, or rocks are compressed or naturally cemented together. They also form when mineral crystals precipitate from water to form a rocky mass such as rocky salt or cave stalactites. So take a look at this, how sedimentary rock form. Another type of rock is metamorphic rock. This is the metamorphic process of rock. Rocks form or change from one form to another, transformed by intense heat, intense heat or heat pressure, or an action of hot fluid. This causes the rock to crystallize or fracture, or change color or flow as the rock flows. The flat layer are folded and the mineral crystal are aligned like parallel needles on scale. So this is it. Look at this picture. So that's it. that is metamorphic rock. Rock cycle and processes. How rock or what are the processes on how igneous rock can be formed. We have weathered and in eroded to form sediments that is lithified to form sedimentary rock. Transformed to metamorphic rock by intense heat, intense pressure and sedimentary rock can be melted, cooled. So igneous rock can be sedimentary rock when uh, lithified, transformed. It can be, it can be also transformed to metamor metamorphic rock when pressure is applied. Sedimentary rock, however, once it melted or cooled, the solidified into an igneous rock. So once a sedimentary undergo metamorphism, then cools down it will turn to igneous rock. Transformed to metamorphic rock by intense heat. So sedimentary rock can be transformed to metamorphic rock by intense heat or intense pressure or heat or hot fluid. Weathered and er eroded back to sediment that is lithified back into another sedimentary rock. So take note of that. Metamorphic rocks, however, can be weathered and eroded to form sediments that is lithified into sedimentary rock or melted, cooled, and so uh, lithified into igneous rock or uh, remetamorphosed into a different type of metamorphic rock by intense heat or intense pressure or heat hot fluid. So this is the cycle. This is the cycle of rocks. From magma, the magma crystallizes, becomes igneous rock. And igneous rock, once it will uh, weathered, the weathered materials or products become sediments. And that sediments, once it deposited and lithified, became sedimentary rock. And this uh, sedimentary rock, once it will be buried on the surface of the earth, uh, metamorphism will undergo and became become metamorphic rock and that metamorphic rock once uh, nagkaroon ng volcanic eruption magma will flow out of the volcano and then once that magma flows out that it will cool cools down um, creating an igneous rock. 